7 Saga Part 10. We went through three different dungeons, going the northwestern route of this continent. We went through the cave of Lao Tzu, the North Tower, and the Grand Tower, eventually coming to the village of Palasu. And if I, as I said before in the other videos, that village right there we just came out of, we're having a bit of a problem. And the man who has the room we need asked us to go solve the problem, which was save the missing children. <laughs> yes, this is for the children. And right here, we have a brand new enemy in what's, what's called a flame, I do believe. They're pretty tough. But you gotta be careful with them as they have the ultimate fire spell. I think it's called F field or something. There's something close to that. But it's pretty powerful and can take you down quite easily. But here it is coupled with the Zodiac. Push over now. Right about now since I've been uh, training and building my characters up. Right about now we're going to right about now or after this Anyways, we're heading to the kingdom of Tefana. Tefana but I'm just gonna get some pronunciation. So we're going to the kingdom of Tef Tefana. And oh yeah, the flame does give a good boost in experience. So if you really want to grind, you could you could find him. He'll give out good experience for you. And like always, I'm skipping through the fights because the enemies we've already fought before. And I level up to level 26. Booyah. Can always use more <laughs> stats. And really, I should use those seeds so I can get even better stats. But I do like a challenge, so I'm going to win on that. So anyways, we're heading through, we're heading south from the village of Palasu, and I know it was going with the room and all, but that's where the guy is, at least for now, that's where he is. He's known to move around, depending on what you do. The route I'm going with him is, uh, basically, since I solved the uh, crisis between B lane and T lane, he saw fit to go to his home village, which is why that place is flashing. But I never actually asked him if I could go save the children. And the reason being is so I can get a pretty good ending or a turnout for stuff that's going to happen later on. And yeah, I know this is slightly spoilerish, but, well, I was, I got curious, <laughs> let me just say, I went on GameFAQ and I found some stuff out, That's, and that place we pass out, passed up is our destination to complete that mission, but, and as you can see, there's a room right down there as well. That's going to be in the next video. Right now we're worried about attack power. <laughs> I mean, one of those things gave me trouble. I mean, serious trouble. But now, not so much. They're annoying to fight, but... Now, they're pushovers. Kingdom of Tifena. It's not a bad place. There's really no new equipment you can get from here. You can you can basically just raid the chest in the castle. Except the mission that'll give you like five thousand bucks. And pretty much just head back on out after you went to sleep. Not much to do there. 
They also had the same problem as the village of Palasu, with their children being missing as well. And the reason being for all of this... Oh. <laughs> I actually escaped the battle. That's rare. Usually... It usually doesn't work out that well for me. I always get stuck and they always kill me anyway, so... Escaping is usually not an option. Kind of surprised there. Kind of surprised. But, as I was saying, reason being all this is happening is because apparently this sorceress named Serpent had well, apparently lost her child. And, well, started stealing other people's kids. Go figure. Did it open? Well, of course not. Why would it be that simple? Why did I think it would be that simple? So, it's tragic and all that, but yeah, you kind of out your mind. Oh, and she left the side door open. That's brilliant. Real brilliant. You know, you're crazy when you're trying to lock everything down, but you didn't lock everything down. Oh yeah, new enemy, the Rotterock. It's a pretty powerful magic-based enemy. As you can see, as it took, out, took down most of my health. Oh, okay, I love it up, so I should be able to see no man. Why did I think it would be that easy? He's not actually, well aside from the magic attacks that's killing me, he's not that hard to beat. You get a good two or three physical hits. Oh man, old fan reached level 27. I wish I had your HP. He, like I was saying, he's not that hard to beat. He's actually pretty easy. Two or three hits physical hits, he's down for the count, but he does have good evasiveness, so, yeah, there's, there's that you have to contend with, and of course there's the black knight in this area, my kingdom to have a place where I don't have to worry about that thing, or at least have the protect spell, so I don't have to worry about instant death. I should say that I'm not going to fully explore the castle. Yeah, it's more of like a... I thought we get stuff in here. It's more like a get in, get out, and god dang. One hit. Oh, one could have hit. Let's get that one. Stuff in here is just alright. You can get a couple of seeds, maybe a mega elixir that taking the form of recovery. It's still not that much stuff. Oh yeah, I'm going through. Also, when I went through here, I'm going through magic water like nothing. Really, I should have brought a magic user into here. The magic users are like priceless to have on your team in this game. Valsu, Asuna, even Legis. Legis, Legis, why do you say it's demon guy? <laughs> he, all the priceless to have. Especially doing this. Second floor, we're heading to the right. And there's that recovery slash mega elixir. Yeah. Really, you're like the only new thing to fight in this dungeon. I mean, really. Usually, when it comes to dungeons, they give you like two or three, but not 
this round. This is also a pretty short dungeon too. It's only like three floors. Like four floors to this thing. Then you're done. And they're all very small. Well pretty small rooms. In fact the palaces and the towns where you go to are bigger than this. That's really saying something. That usually don't happen. This game was made by Enix at the time. Fighting Serpent. I'm a wizard king. I'm really sure it's more like an arachnid than a serpent, but... Uh, I guess... With a green... Blue-green skin? Something? Uh, it would be... I guess it would be weird to be named the arachnid. Nah, that's mad. Man, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to play. Okay, I'm going to play stuff. 
Let's see. I kind of want to see those based on what other books. Pretty tough customer, I'll give a credit for that. What do you should do? I don't even know how to have better weapon. That's a man. But, it's such a lie. Just two people to a team have like three. I think that's like the usual amount for parties in RPGs, anyways. Three or four. Usually another two. Hmm. I guess they really were for going for a challenge pack to make this game more challenging. Thank them for that. I mean, I do like a good challenging game, like like Monster Hunter or um, Final Fantasy. Yeah, Final Fantasy Three is pretty good. Cool. Oh, like dang, Four was easy. Five was okay. Six was. It had its moments. Seven was way overhyped. Eight was trying to be too much like seven. Well, except for that. Well, I guess eight kind of fancy eight. <laughs> Just like, okay, can't get no armor, you can't get your own magic, you can't. You can get your own weapon, but you have to, you literally have to make it. And lastly, the airship was like, slow. The one in seven was, was at least fast. Like, you can get, go across the world in like 30 seconds fast. With the, uh, right in the rock, or whatever you call it. It was like, god, dang, it was pretty slow. I could have like went across the world in the little car to get you faster. Like, like you went from you went from a Ferrari to a beat down station wagon. Yeah, I don't know much for cars. <laughs> and yeah, I wish we would do like better attack on this chick. Ooh, is it really nasty? Not as hard as the dragon, no. The dragon is still the hardest I've ever fought in this game so far. Still. Oh yeah, Final Fantasy IX. <laughs> that one was okay. Put two cutscenes heavy. It was good. It was good. It was the best. I like the uh, the 3D Final Fantasy. X2 was too. Yeah. Then we played 11, 12 was. It was all right. Different. But have yet to play 13. Speaking of Final Fantasy 14 and MMO, God, when will they get Final Fantasy Online 2 over here? I'm dying to play that. Like, 
looks like the best looking MMO I've ever seen. And I played Final, uh, Final Fantasy, Fantasy Star Online Rebirth, and that was pretty awesome. Like, that's like a 2001, 2003 game, and it still holds up. She's almost there. I'm surprised you don't not hit the hard though. She's not really hitting us hard. But she is holding out. That's a good payout. 3,000 experience, 1,400 gold. That's a good payout. And the power of serpent is gone. Good riddance. That's one thing. Yes, you have. <laughs> You're welcome. Pay up. <laughs> oh. I always gotta rescue some sort of princess. <laughs> Actually, I didn't get no money for that. I mean, seriously, 5,000 bucks. Oh, yes. I forgot. When you get, say, the children and all that, you have to look for the guy again with the rune. But, in the scenario I went for, the room got stolen. And really, I could just take it and run at this point. Because, well... <laughs> he just automatically gave me the darn thing. Like right there, I could just take it and run. But since I'm a nice guy and I'm the hero of the story... <laughs> I'm gonna pay his bail. Which takes out 2,000 out of the 5,000 I just got. <laughs> Better be thankful. And is it a man? I can tell. I mean, they got some weird creatures in this world. Robots, aliens, demons, so on and so forth. I'm not even sure if that thing is a human. Or it's like some sort of thing. I mean, I got a dwarf walking right behind me, so. <laughs> no. Um, well, this comes to the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and please, do come again.